let us look at the application of uh, real life situation in math so how problems in real life can be solved by math's equation okay so yeah the question is a service technician charges forty dollars upfront and fifty eight for every hour she works okay so I made a column uh, for number of hours and uh, the technical technicians charge which is in dollars so this is an upfront charge of forty dollars that means let us start at zero okay so if you call this technician she would say my calling means because I come to do the service or repair work whatever she's doing you you she starts her uh, she starts with forty dollars if she works for one hour you're going to pay forty dollars plus fifty eight dollars so I'll say one times fifty eight okay so one you have to multiply first and then add which is forty plus fifty eight so if she's working for one hour you need to pay ninety eight dollars okay now if she's working for two hours you pay the same forty dollars for the upfront and two times fifty eight okay which is forty plus it will double this which is uh, 116 okay so which is 200 and uh, 116 am I right okay yeah that is 156 dollars so if you if she works for three hours you do 40 plus three times 50 I want you to look at a pattern that is developing which is 40 plus this is how much uh, 150 and so 3 times 5 is 3 times 50 is 150 and 24 which is 174 okay this is how I do without calculator I'll show you how to do on a calculator this is 214 and so on so let us go up to 5 if she's working for okay now before that can you see what's happening here this is increasing say let us say write forty dollars here this forty I have written here to show you the pattern so what's happening here this is increasing by fifty eight dollars this is also increasing by fifty eight we are increasing this by fifty eight so you can follow the same pattern for four hours let me bring back my blue colors so that will be without even doing this calculation you have to add 58 to this so if you add 58 so this is 272 okay or you can do this that is 40 plus 4 times 58 which is 40 plus this is 4 times 50 is 200 plus 32 which is 232 okay which is 272 and for 5 hours it is 40 plus uh, 5 times 58 so how would I do it without the calculator so this is 40 plus so 5 times 5 which is 5 times 50 which is 250 plus 40 which is 290 so this is 330 dollars so let us plot this in a graph so I have drawn an axis of on the x-axis I'm going to write I'm going to label the x-axis as number of hours and on the y-axis is dollars okay or I'll write only dollars that is the technician charge so she starts with forty dollars so when it's zero hours this is forty you start at forty dollars that this is her uh, you can say the call up charge or what is the front up upfront charge forty dollars for one it is ninety eight okay it is difficult to plot ninety eight so which is a neat point for five hours it is three thirty so I'll plot I'll go backwards so it's five hours so this is this is your three hundred I think this is three hundred this is this is going up in tens can you see this is 
uh, this is 10, 20, 30, 40. So this is, uh, this is 5 hours. So this is 5 hours, yeah. So this is 300. 310, 320, 330. So this is a neat point that I can plot. And I'll draw a straight line and then I'll explain. So a straight line. I'm joining these two points. These are the points that I can plot. Okay. And then you can go backwards. For one hour it is 98. So it's this is 900. So it's almost underneath. So this is 1. I'll write here 1 comma 98 here. For two hours it was how much? 156. So two hours. So this point. Can you see it's just underneath 160. So 2, 156. For 3 hours this is just over. For 3 hours how much was the charge? 214 which is difficult to plot but you can do this in a sneaky way like this. For 3 hours so this is for 3 hours it is 214. For 4 hours it was 272. So this point uh, it's very difficult to see, but you can. I think you can see this is 260, 270, just over 270, which is 272. So for four hours it is 272. So this is the graph of for four hours it is 272, and for five hours it is. This is the neat point for five hours. She gets 330 dollars. 330 dollars so yeah the graph if you want to write okay I'll talk about the equation later on so this is the graph so this is dollars so let me write C for I'll write C let us say number of hours so let us say let us use the letter H for number of hours and you can say the technician fees what's the word that they use technician charge so I'll write charge charge in dollars charge in dollars I'll write use the letter C okay so I'm this is a graph so if you want to write a title this is the graph of uh, charge versus time okay you can write that title yourself what will be the what will a four hour job cost okay so you can see look from the table for 4 hour it is 272 even the graph tells you 4 272 so your answer is for 4 hour job it is 272 dollars if the technician works on a job for 3 days and on an average 6 hours a day so you got 3 days times 6 hours a day so she is working for 18 hours so the total overall cost would be 40 plus 18 times 58 so I'll need a calculator to work this out so let me get my calculator so menu run so I'll go 40 plus 18 times 58 which is 1084 dollars she charges for three days work which is quite a lot of money 1084 for if she's working for 18 hours or three days and finally write an equation for the cost C so I'm going to say the cost as C and the number of hours H so I want you to think what's happening okay so this is going up in 58 so well I can see I hope you can see a pattern so to find the cost you go 40 plus 1 times 58 so you can you see 40 and 58 is remaining constant what is changing is 1 2 3 4 5 and if you look at this this 1 is corresponds to this number of hours 2 corresponds to this 2 so the equation I'll write the equation here with a different color cost C is 40 plus the number of hours which is we can use the letter H, the number of hours H times 58 is the relation between cost and the number of hours. So the technician may have this equation sitting on her table and if someone tells me, tells her or she can also make up this table, 
or if you have the simple equation if someone is asking her how much would it cost if I have to uh, my job is say four and a half hours so she has to just look at this equation and say well your cost would be 40 plus this is your H so in place of H you can put four and a half you can put 4.5 plus 58 and then she will get her calculator out and then she will go 40 plus 4.5 times 58 and that's how people work and she will say well uh, you have to pay me three hundred and one dollars for my technician fees and plus of course whatever GST is to be added